Have you ever held something so small but has traveled hundreds of miles? Something that looks so simple, yet the process of creation so precise? Or perhaps an object that has been on this earth for hundreds of years and still looks untouched? When I was about a young teenager, my family and I went on a beach vacation to Florida, and it wasn't until I picked up a tiny, innocent shell that I realized we are the small ones. I've always been intrigued by the ocean since I was a toddler. The thought of being able to roll around in the sand till my hair cakes up, swim and splash till my fingers turn to raisins made me sure to stay on my best behavior. It wasn't until I was about 16 when I realized just how truly special the ocean was. Everything seemed so big to me back then. Being a sophomore in high school felt like the hardest job in the world. You had to look good, keep up with the right crowd, get good grades, make people happy, the list could go on. They all seemed to take up all the space in the universe and cause so much unnecessary stress or anxiety, and sometimes even both. Back then, when I thought about life, I always thought that we humans were the ones on top. I had to get knocked down this pedestal I was on where everything revolved around us because in reality, we are but a small piece to this giant picture. On a vacation to the beaches of Florida, I stood still staring into the face of the sea, a simple large body of water that housed many kinds of animals, stories, and magic. I was at the break of the waves, closing my eyes and feeling the waves run to my ankles and trickle back home. I felt the coarse yet soft sand squish beneath my body weight. Then I picked up a shell, a small, intricate, maroon and white design scallop shell that looked straight out of a painting. The dark red color is what caught my eye first as it was rifting between the waves. Coarse on the outside with hard and defined ridges, yet so smooth and silky on the back as if it was freshly polished. From there, I started to think, to think about all the different possibilities. How far could the shell have traveled? Who else found and admired the shell? What creatures walked upon it, swam with it, or pushed it out of its way? At that moment, a book I read as a child kept flooding back into my mind. It was a picture book that depicted a bigger world that thrived beneath the waves, down below on the seafloor that stretched from continent to continent. Could this scenario be real, I thought? But no, of course not. Still, something so small made my mind spin with endless possibilities that made me feel just as tiny as that one shell. In that moment, I realized just how minuscule all my problems were. That in the present, my anxieties, my fears, though they may seem all consuming, they are just as tiny as this one shell. They get swept onto shore, stay for a while, until the sea takes it back. From then on, I did my best not to compress my emotions, but to instead take a step back and know that it won't last a while. The feelings, though they may seem big at the time, and things may not be going the way that I intended, the problem will always go away with time. Looking out into that large, never-ending sea with its tiny maroon shell in my hand brought me back to Earth. It may seem crazy that something so small, something that can fit in the palm of your hand, could have that much of an effect on a person, but it did for me. It made me think of how far of a journey the shell has gone through, how many treacherous waves it's been swept up in, and how perfect it still looks. I was someone that, be, that would be consumed in anxiety and stress even at a young age, unfortunately. And seeing this reassures me that even though my problems may seem big now, the sea will settle and all will be well. I forget this every so often, which is why I have a jar of seashells sitting in my room to give myself gentle reminders. The more you pay attention to the things around you, the more you start to realize that what a tiny part in the story your fears and negativities will play in it.